Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and in this video I want to show you how you can uninstall Windows 10 and go back to uh, Windows 8.1. Uh, one of the uh, features that Microsoft is adding on Windows 10 is the ability for you to go back. This feature wasn't available or on, on Windows 8, but it's good to see that now we have that choice if we want to, if we don't like the operating system to go back to uh, Windows 8.1 and on this case back um, go back to Windows 8.1 if we install Windows 10 the same feature is available for Windows 7 but I must say that you will only have this option only for the first month of installation after you upgrade you have uh, you have one month to use uh, this feature uh, if you if after a month you want to go back you will need to use the uh, full backup that you made before making the upgrade or you can go back by uh, doing a clean installation of the operating system and reinstalling all your applications and putting back all your your files so that being said um, one thing that you have to know before we uh, go through the process is that after the upgrade to uh, Windows 10 you will see that um, now we have a uh, windows.all folder on the uh, on the C drive and that's all our all installation that's the uh, the all installation that's the uh, files from uh, the previous version of Windows so if you have that chances are that you will see the uh, uh, the feature to go back. If you don't have it, um, I'm sorry to say that you won't be able to go back to uh, Windows 8.1 uh, using this method. So um, once you check that uh, you have that folder, now we minimize that and then we open the uh, the settings uh, app. You can use the uh, Windows I uh, keyboard shortcut to open the uh, settings or you can go to start and click the uh, settings button. Once uh, once you're in settings, you only need to go to uh, update and security, and then we just go to uh, to recovery, and you will see the uh, go back to uh, Windows 8.1. Uh, and if you have Windows 7, it will say you know go back to uh, Windows 7. Now, if uh, if you don't see this option, chances are you can uh, use the, the uh, this uh, utility or this tool to like go back you will have to do in the uh, on on the ways that I just mentioned so um, once you're here you you can just click the uh, get a started button and now we uh, we get up we get a prompt to tell Microsoft why uh, we're leaving the operating system that's something they really want to know uh, I'm just gonna uh, click uh, for another reason and now I'm able to click next now it's going to tell me that um, after you go back uh, you will need to install some of the apps and programs because they might break or you or if you install programs on Windows 10 that, that you didn't have on Windows 8.1 those they're gonna get removed so that's something also to uh, to know so make sure that you copy any configuration password or anything that was um, configured after the upgrade uh, and you will lose the uh, changes made uh, to Windows 10 uh, that's obvious but m sometimes people might not know that uh, there is no need to make a backup of your files but it's always recommended it's even recommended to make a full backup of your system because you know you, you never know if uh, anything will fail or something during this process and that's a way to go back and try uh, one more time once you know um, all the stuff that uh, that's going to happen after you go back click next you will need to remember the uh, sign in password for uh, Windows 8.1 you must know that if not you will be locked out so make sure you know that click next and you will get the uh, thank you for trying Windows uh, Windows 10 and then just simply click um, go back to Windows 8.1 the uh, system will restart and it will start the restoration 
um, process and the um, the time that it will take it will depend on the computer you're using but it usually takes you know you know five to ten minutes uh, but it can go to you know 20 or 30 minutes but it will depend on your system um, after uh, you go back make sure to check that everything is working and check for uh, uh, new updates for that operating system that you have and that's that's pretty much all you need to know to uh, go back to your previous version of Windows, in this case Windows 8.1. So I hope this video was informative for you and I thank you for viewing.